Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support and I hope all is well with everyone. Today we are going to find out what are your important general love messages. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not apply to each and every one of you. And Taurus, if my table looks different, it's because I've already moved to another place. Spirits and angels, please show me. Important accurate love messages for Taurus. Show me more. Taurus, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed in this reading. Could either be you or your person you are thinking about or dealing with. I see the King of Cups here, so somebody does, uh, somebody does love you, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, especially if it is these three signs, but it can be any sign, okay, we've got the Fool here in reverse, could also be dealing with an Aries, um, also can be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, can be any sign, okay, but what I'm seeing here is somebody loves somebody, I'm just going to say, I'm just going to say somebody, because roles can be switched here, okay. Uh, we've got the judgment here. This indicates somebody wanting to hash things out, wanting to possibly reconcile, get back together. And with the Ten of Swords here in reverse, definitely for me, this indicates somebody wanting to remove the swords off of your back, or it, or it could be you wanting to do that. Healing and recovery. And we've got the Queen of Cups here in reverse. Okay, so we've got the King and the Queen. These two are supposed to be a true match. However, Queen of Cups is in reverse. So I feel like maybe the female energy, okay, the feminine energy could have removed uh, her cup of love. However, it, it also doesn't matter. We all can embody both feminine and masculine energy. So it can still be reversed. So we've got the Four of Swords here. This indicates somebody thinking, recovering, or recuperating, I would say. And I feel like this could be a strategy, but also I feel the Four Swords would pair with the Fool here in reverse. For some reason, somebody could be thinking and contemplating in regards to whether to take a new leap of faith with you or it could go vice versa here. So the Fool in reverse indicates somebody who could have taken some risks in the past. And I feel like it could have gone wrong, okay? But for me, this definitely indicates more towards somebody wondering if they should take a risk with you or you could be wondering if you should take a risk with this person. Whether to start new or not, uh, a new, to start this connection anew or not. And, you know, I say this all the time, when the cards are in reverse, it could indicate some sort of delay. So somebody could be thinking about these things as in taking a new leap of faith with a fool here in reverse or to offer love but they need time to think okay it could be you could or it could be them thinking so let's see more and also i feel like taurus is saying that before you actually um start a new relationship okay um perhaps you need some time to be alone first okay if you are single so we've got the nine of pentacles in reverse and the seven of pentacles here hmm. i do send somebody could be waiting seven of pentacles indicates waiting but also seven of pentacles to me may indicate somebody feeling that it's such a waste because they could have been or that you could have been planting the seeds in this connection or invested a lot and not wanting it to go to waste so i do sense somebody wanting to fix things wanting to reconcile in some way shape or form okay page of wands you could be dealing with a fire sign aries sagittarius leo this may indicate also somebody wanting to reach out extend an olive branch send a message here Four of Pentacles is in reverse. Mm. We've got the Five of Wands. I do sense a lot of conflicting energy here. Someone could be feeling really conflicted whether they should let go of this connection or give it a second chance. I, I would say it's more like a second chance. I feel like there's somebody from your past or currently both of you are going through some issues with each other. So Five of Wands sometimes could also indicate other issues okay external issues internal issues for some of you may have been because of a third party it may not always mean that but um, ten of swords could also indicate some sort of betrayal okay so there could have been a lot of arguments here with the five of wands or drama 
but also indicate competition. With, with the Queen of Pentacles here in reverse, it's actually your energy, Taurus, so Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. I feel like with all of these Pentacles in reverse, except for the Seven of Pentacles here, uh, it definitely indicates to me that maybe you have stopped investing in this connection, okay? But if you still are invested, Spirit's definitely saying to sort of let it go first and explore elsewhere with the page of wands here explore go see the world the page of wands to me is like being really adventurous and to see what else is out there okay but this could again page is a messenger so somebody could be thinking about sending you a message a message of love i feel because the page of wands is pointing towards the king of cups here uh, to express how they feel about you or it could go vice versa all right let's see more So the chariot is right here. So I always say that the chariot is like how you get into a vehicle, but with the intention to move forward, to go someplace, but haven't quite stepped on the gas or, or on the pedal yet because the chariot, uh, these two sphinxes are still sitting down. And actually with the motorcycle here, it's not moving, right? But with the intention of offering love here with the Ace of Cups, a new beginning, could be you thinking about this or it could be your person thinking about this, okay? Definitely a sense of wanting to move forward, wanting to reconcile, but somebody could be conflicted. And also I feel like someone, there is a sense of with the Nine of Pentacles here, remember? could indicate some sort of codependency as well whether it's your person or you but it could be in terms of money or it could be in terms of emotional okay emotions so five of swords is in reverse i've got the justice here in reverse i feel like spirit is definitely saying to you uh taurus to actually fight for yourself okay again i do sense you know, spirit really wanting, spirit is really wanting you to explore elsewhere with the chariot here. Just sort of move on from this connection. And with the Ace of Cups could also indicate mm, self-love and self-care. Perhaps this should be your priority for now until somebody can treat you fairly with the justice here in reverse. Because Five Swords in reverse also to me, this may indicate, you know, fighting for a lost cause. Um, but to be honest, uh, Taurus, that's this person, whoever this person is in your energy field right now, I do sense that they do love you deeply, really deep emotions. But Aces could also indicate a new beginning in love. Perhaps for some of you, you may end up being in a relationship, a new relationship if um if you are single okay and with the page of wands and the chariot <clears throat> for some of you excuse me for some of you this may actually indicate uh you meeting your true love with the ace of cups here um where this person doesn't live at the same area as you do okay so it's a little bit far i would say but also it could indicate for me page of wands one sometimes also to me indicates some like internet internet vibe that i'm getting here for some of you may be also meeting somebody over the internet or online so let's see more but i'm not advocating online dating or anything like that i feel like taurus everybody should be safe when they go on when they search for love online okay because there are a lot of what they call it, uh, catfishes out there. So we've got the Six of Cups here, Taurus. This definitely indicates somebody wanting to return, missing you, or this could be your soulmate, okay? Not from this lifetime, perhaps from many other lifetimes in the past. If this is somebody new, some of it could be somebody new, some of it, it can be somebody from your past. King of Swords can be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This new love can be um, a an air energy, okay, eight of pentacles. For me, Spirit's definitely saying to focus on your work right now, okay? Focus on yourself, focus on your work. Also, I, um, I'm i also sensing some sort of a divine timing energy here in divine time, in the right, in divine timing, you will meet somebody, but then again, I feel like this new person may be somebody from afar, okay? Um, 
or it could also indicate somebody returning wanting to apologize here all right taurus this is your reading hope you resonated if you did please hit like share and subscribe i'm going to leave you with a playlist on the screen right now this is the playlist from my second vlog channel if you're interested check it out and also i'm open for bookings personal reading if you're interested to book me my information is in the description box below all right taurus take care and i hope to see you tomorrow bye